All right, so today is gonna be a bullshit day in the life. What's going on? That's gonna be it. Raw. I hope you guys enjoy this tile of video. So I am in, I'm in the Accord right now, okay? And I have a plan and I am super excited about this. We just crossed 2 million views on YouTube. Go to my Instagram and vote. I posted a picture up of my 2 million and a new parts run vehicle, okay? Go. What the hell are you doing in my lane? Every one of these people are coming in my lane. What the? Oh, well. Go check out the vehicle that I posted and let me know in the comments on my Instagram. Do you want me to go buy this thing? I'm headed down to Florida this week. We're buying a vehicle if enough of you guys say yes. And even if enough of you guys don't say yes, I'm still gonna buy it. But do you guys wanna see this thing on the channel? So basically what I'm doing today is we have a boring parts run vehicle right now. I'm in the Accord. I'm headed. I'm headed to go to the bank. I gotta withdraw money from my dad because I haven't had time to go get cash because when I picked up the CRV on Monday, I didn't get it. So it was $900 for labor and everything. I did speak with the dealership yesterday since they did warranty work before. I guess the warranty company, they only paid them like half their labor rate, which you know, this and that. It's like, we did settle on a number. I'm not gonna say what that number is just for the privacy of it. Um, the fact that they were able to help out a little bit, I definitely appreciate it. You know, it sucks. It is what it is. You know, nobody's perfect. As a business owner, I understand, hey, you know, it might not work out as well as you want it to, but they did help out with some financial compensation on the CRV as well. End of story, everybody's on good terms. I'm not gonna say anything bad about them and we just leave it be. So everybody's happy and that's, that's how I see it. So I was able to get them to come up from what they originally wanted to pay. You know, it wasn't an insane amount of money, but you know, whatever. So we're here at Citizens. Now this is the shitty part about having Citizens. I love this bank because I know the people that work here, I can just text them. But sometimes this uh, ATM doesn't work, but I need to withdraw, I need to withdraw some money. All right, well, Citizens Bank in Carlisle. I don't recommend this branch because every time I come here for this ATM, there's always an issue, so. Don't come to this bank. Go to the one in Harrisburg. If you wanna, if you wanna use Citizens Bank, go to the one in Harrisburg, because they are awesome on Allentown Boulevard. Awesome. One in Carlisle on what is this? West La No, uh, Northeast Street in Carlisle. Nah, -uh. garbage. All right. So now we're gonna be going to Home Depot because I need to make a list there. So I guess I'll hang out in Home Depot for a while. I gotta get detailed products, I gotta get WD-40 oil, coolant, you know, stuff like that. I definitely recommend, if you're gonna get anything automotive stuff, Home Depot, Lowe's, or Walmart, every single time, you will save so much money by buying at those places, if you're buying a lot. A gallon of oil is an eight to $10 difference. So, Home Depot, all the way. See, like I'm saying, come down here. This is $9 a gallon. Grab two of them. Where I save so much money. Like, I think I'm using, I forget which one of these I'm using, but like Rotella. Rotella is so cheap when they actually have it. I think it was like, I don't know, it was like $10 off per gallon. It looks like they're out of it right now, but I'm gonna get the Pennzoil for the CRV. Like I was saying, uh, I got two industrial strength uh the greasers and tire shine this is really all i needed for the detail stuff i have like interior cleaner and all that i got two things of coolant and one thing of oil for this thing uh they didn't have rotella they didn't have the rotella that i usually run and i see some people you know talking shit on rotella it's like yeah it's fair but i like rotella i have never had an issue with it is there better stuff out there probably I've heard good things about Amsoil. But, do I run Amsoil? No, I don't. Why? Because it's not readily available. I can't find it anywhere for the price that I can find Rotella T6. This will be the last day you guys have to see the Accord. Not because, I'm not getting rid of it or any means, but this will be the last day you get to see it as a parts run vehicle. So, headed back to the bank now since they'll be open. I'm gonna go check the PO box. I, I don't actually know who sent this because there's not really any name on it other than a company. But uh, somebody sent a bunch of Legos. The boys are gonna love that, but that's gonna be pretty chaotic. <laughs> so, whoever sent that, I appreciate it. Go drop down in the comment, you know, if, uh, if your name, if you want any credit for it or whatnot. But meantime, let's go pay for the CRV. All right, let's come back with all the 
stuff from the store a little bit ago. Didn't really feel like doing much, but I'm gonna go over. I'm gonna get this thing cleaned up. Here is the spacers. I don't know what I want to do with these, because these might, I might just keep them for DOT purposes, just in case, you know, say I get pulled over or something, they're like, oh, here's an out of service, they have to not touch, I'll uh, keep them with me, but exhaust manifold gaskets, I gotta do them at some point, and throw this guy away. All right, so I went through, and I am going to the storage unit now, we're gonna switch some wheels and tires out, because I don't really want to go down there without uh, rotating the tires, putting some air in them as well. I'm going to go back to Home Depot, hopefully get a bolt so that I can put it in that one sensor spot so I don't leak fluid anymore, but we'll see. Yeah, these dual disc clutches are absolutely terrible. If you haven't watched Sam's video, V-Belt and Sun, on the Valair, Valair dual disc, I recommend doing it. I am, like if I go to, oh, I got to force it in gear. Force force like you really gotta I hate my South Bend and I will never buy another one again but we are like I said I'm gonna be picking up again in uh, Home Depot because uh, I feel like working on the truck today I said it's gonna be a bullshit day we got Liam back there all right so unfortunately here's what I'm gonna show you guys there's a couple of things under here that you guys had asked about that I want to show you so coolant leaks um, right there where that sensor's at was one, and then right down here is also one. So the problem I was having was this, I couldn't get anything to seal, so I might have to grind some of that material away to use that with the O-ring. And then that one there didn't have an O-ring, so hope, I think I just fixed that one. So, that should be taken care of, and then I would like to, to rotate all of these wheels and tires. I know, I've been saying that, but I need to finally just do it and suck it up and be done with it. So. Shouldn't be too hard to do. Probably go grab some jack stands. Wait for the coolant temp to come down because I am not messing with the coolant temp while it is, while it's up. I actually took the sensor out one day when I was sitting at the store or at the car wash and I got shot in the eye. Don't do that. Now, a lot of people ask, why do you have to shut the truck off with your clutch? Ever since I put this 12 oven, I've always just shut the engine off with the clutch. So the reason for that is there is a, a shut off solenoid on the side of the P pump. This is a 12 valve Cummins with a P pump, P7100 injection pump. There is a shut off solenoid on the side, which is gone. There's also a valve that that shut off solenoid turns on and off, it twists. The problem is it's broken flush into the pump. So the only way for you to actually like shut it off is, well, you really can't. You have to, you know, turn that valve off. So the valve is always in the on position and there's nothing you can get into the grab it. Basically, it needs a whole new P pump. So, sucks, but the life of it. I've been doing it now for, I put this engine in in January, or in uh, December of 2019. We are now in September of 2021. So we're coming up on two years this engine has been in here. It's crazy to think about. All of 2020 and yeah, almost all of 2021. So that's actually pretty crazy to think that I've had this engine in here that long. And I've never had any drawbacks to shutting it off with the clutch. So, yes, do I wanna be able to shut it off with the key? Yes, absolutely. Am I worried about it? No, not really. So here's one of the old sensors. I went and just bought a whole new one because why not? And this thing, uh, there was no O-ring on the bottom of it. So basically I was sealing it with, you know, just Teflon tape, which is a no-no. So there we go. So O-ring on that. And then I took, there's a fitting into the head to be able to run that, like I said. So that has Teflon on it. Hopefully it seals, but we'll see in the long run. Same with this one here. That one definitely will not seal. So I do need, I do need to pull that out and uh, work on that. But yeah, we'll have to grind a lot of that material away. So hopefully it works out. Damn, see, this is, I love these covers. Cause look at that. That just looks terrible. Don't step anywhere near those covers, boy. They're very expensive. <laughs> Don't step near them. So I'm gonna get the back ones off as well. Then we're gonna quick rotate. Yeah, I, wow, that looks terrible. I don't regret buying these covers at all. Terrible. I don't ever wanna hear anybody ever again try to talk me into running without those. Wow, that looks horrendous. I ran them for years like that. That looks terrible. Goodness. 
Oof. All right, so I'm doing these one at a time. Basically, the inside is gonna come to the outside. The outside's gonna go to the front and the front's gonna go onto the inside. Now, I have to take every one of these TPMS and swap them. So keep them all together and we'll go from there. I have the outside one in there and then yeah. So basically, I'm gonna do these one at a time. I do need to go through and fill the tires up. So I'm gonna get the compressor going a while. Liam, can you close the other door, please? There we go. So I'm gonna get these all filled to like 75 is what I wanna shoot for. We'll go from there. All right, as I said earlier, which ones go where? That's a front tire, now it's an inside tire. This was an inside, so I am putting anti-seize between the duels and on the hub. This is just something I prefer to do. This is what I'm gonna do. And that way I don't ever have to worry about them getting stuck together or this and that. So here you go. All right, one side complete. This side's all done. TPMS is yelling at me for some reason. What are you yelling at me for? Front zero, huh? Guess we'll have to reconnect. Let's make sure, yeah, it says one. Sometimes this thing is finicky, but works fine. Give her a minute. Once we start rotating, it'll reconnect. So it also takes, you have to be driving for it to update, which is kind of a pain. So unless you make a loop around a parking lot for about a minute, it won't like update. So in the morning, it's, yeah, it's kind of a pain because you'll see a it'll go from like 78 down to like 62. It's kind of weird, but this side's all good. They're all at 75. Now I got to do the other side. All right, so on a dually, most of you guys probably know this. You see this little hole right here, okay? You guys can see that a hole always lines up to your valve stem. A lot of guys, what they'll do is they'll take that hole, okay? And they'll put one on the inside going one way, one on the outside going the other way. Now, what does this do? This basically puts one valve stem on one side, one valve stem on the other. Now, in my experience, I like to have that hole lined up. That's just me. I like to have them both if they're right there, they'll both be looking just like that. And that's how I like to do it. A lot of guys will switch it around, go the other way. That's fine. But that's how I like to do it. So I'm also, you guys can see there's uh, anti-seize. This was left over from, from before. So this is the anti-seize. Um, like I said, I'm putting anti-seize on the hub and in between just because I don't want to have any issues with dually wheels sticking. I never had a problem before because I was running spacers. So the aluminum spacers, I never had an issue. But now that tolerances are so tight and everything, I have seen guys have to take their lug nuts off and drive in circles to get their wheels to break loose. So I just want to, you know, be able to avoid that guy. Whereas everybody else has problems get their wheels on, mine just like to fall off. So, so well. All right, so that's gonna about do it. Uh, that was pretty much a day. Still have yet to go get the toilet for the bathroom, but I've noticed this thing's squatting a little bit and I hate squatted trucks, but I hate lifted four wheel drives too. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know, I kind of lose both ways because it's like, I don't want it to sit as high as it does in the front, but I don't want the front to sit that high either. So I'm gonna throw like 30 pounds in the bags, get it all sitting level, and then uh, I'm gonna head home, but that's pretty much gonna be it. So, the way, airbag system I run, you guys have been asking as well. Airlift 5000, I have them both back here, away from each other, they're not teed by any means. I would like to run it up to the front at some point, but right now, not super worried about it, so. All right, I threw about 20 and it didn't really take much. Obviously I'm on a grade, so it's gonna look a little bit higher in the back. I'm gonna get it pulled out and see how much weight I really need to put in the back. But, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of at an offset angle. So it's like, screw it. Let's go park somewhere else. All right, let's see how much better it rides over these bumps with a little bit of pressure in the bags. Oh, well, it's way better. Suspension travel now. I was running it when I'm empty. I just take all the, the air out of the bags, which I really don't recommend, but I kind of want to hear this thing because it's, it's finally a nice day. Oof. Oh, yeah, there we go. Big old hump. I didn't know my face was dirty, but now it's clean. Let's go.
am gonna need you guys to vote. Go to my Instagram and tell me if you would like me to go buy this vehicle because that's gonna be the new parts run vehicle. So I'll be making content in that as opposed to in the Accord, which the Accord's kind of boring anyway. I like it, but, and then the CRV is also kind of boring. So let's see what you guys think about uh, 